we're going to see some big changes, potentially damaging gusts of wind and a very strong jet stream. Here are your five things to know about the weather this week. One, fog. The first half of this week will remain pretty calm. The wind will be fairly light. We're not going to see big changes, which means it'll stay fairly chilly and quite gloomy with some dense fog patches in places. Two, rain. Now, many of us have been pretty dry for the past week or so, but that is going to change. A little bit of rain over the next few days, but the rain is only going to get heavier as the week goes on. Three, the jet stream. Now, one reason it's been pretty dry recently is the position of the jet stream. The jet stream is a fast moving river of air high up in the atmosphere. It's always about, but it shifts and wriggles, changes in its position and its intensity. And this week, the jet stream is going to get highly energized. The winds in the middle of the jet stream could reach up to 250 miles an hour. Now that's the winds high up, about nine kilometers up, but it's important because it leads to four, a deep area of low pressure. That very fast jet stream will create a deep low, which will hit the UK later this week with potentially damaging gusts of wind of 70 miles an hour or maybe more. Now this is four or five days away, so there's still some uncertainty in the exact track of the low, but it's something we need to watch because those winds could be damaging and we've issued a warning across parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. Five, extreme cold in the United States. Bitter Arctic air has plunged south across the United States. Temperatures here by day 10 to 20 Celsius below the average and temperatures are staying below freezing all day as far south as Texas. That is unusually cold even for January. Now this is important because it's one of the main reasons why the jet stream is getting energized this week. So the cold in the United States is leading to the UK turning very wet and windy later this week. It's definitely a week you'll want to keep up to date with the forecast. 